Bangladesh is a very low-lying area and 46% of the population lives within 10 meters above the sea level and so when the monsoon comes, uh, the monsoon starts from uh, June and ends uh, in uh, October every year, we get a lot of water from the off streams. 750,000 children are affected uh, by the monsoon flooding and they cannot go to school during the monsoon season. Hi, EBS News. Uh, my name is Mohamed Rezwan. I am from Bangladesh. After completing architecture, I always had the idea of serving community and uh, I wanted to do something for my own community. So the only option we, ha we had at the time to uh, have a floating community that would include floating schools, libraries, training centers. I thought if the children cannot go to school for lack of transportation, then the school should go to them. Mohamed Rezwani, 물 위에 떠 있는 학교를 만들기 위해서 비영리 단체를 만들고 필요한 자금을 모으기까지 무려 4년의 시간이 걸렸습니다. 배를 개조해 설계된 이 특별한 학교는 마을을 찾아다니며 아이들을 태웁니다. 배한 척에 30명까지 탈수 있죠. 배에 올라탄 아이들은 주 6일에 걸쳐 초등학교 정규 수업을 받습니다. 배 상단에는 태양광 패널이 설치돼 있어 안정적으로 전기를 공급받을 수 있습니다. 뿐만 아니라 인터넷을 사용할 수 있는 컴퓨터도 구비돼 있죠. With the floating school, um, we are providing uh, education at the doorsteps, uh, and it is particularly helping the uh, girls and young women uh, because um, uh, they can uh, get access to education. Information and training services because in Bangladesh still there is traditional barriers. 현재 이와 같은 무리에 떠 있는 학교는 총 22개로 약 1,800명의 어린이들이 이곳에서 수업을 받고 있습니다. 여기서 끝이 아닙니다. 수업이 끝나고 나면 낮 동안 학교에서 충전된 손전 등을 주민들에게 나눠줍니다. 홍수 피해로 인해 마을에서 전기를 거의 사용하지 못하기 때문에 이 손전 등은 매우 유용하게 쓰입니다. Training on sustainable, effective, and environment-friendly farming on our floating classrooms to the parents, to the villagers, so that they can address the present challenges, get access to all the year-round income, improve their income. The scientists they are saying that within next 35 years. 16% of Bangladesh land will go under uh, water, resulting in 20 million climate refugees. So our project actually uh, helping people to stay in the village, at the same time improve uh, their livelihoods, access to uh, it ensures access to uh, education, at the same time uh, uh, helping them to prepare for the big floods.